The increasing proliferation of drones and the rapidly increasing number of drone incidents and incursions is driving heightened demand for counter-drone mitigation technologies to address security and safety concerns. These options include both traditional solutions and emerging innovations. Let's review each and examine relevant considerations. Radio frequency jammers emit powerful bursts of RF energy to disrupt communications between a drone and its remote controller, preventing the drone from receiving instructions. This technology provides a relatively inexpensive and simple means to temporarily incapacitate drones in the immediate area. However, generating RF noise may disrupt nearby communications and navigation systems, which limits their suitability in sensitive environments and near authorized drone operations. Jammers' effectiveness depend on signal strength, distance, and continuous transmission. It's important to note that jammers can disconnect drones from their controllers, but do not gain control of the drone. The subsequent actions and movement of the drone, such as returning home or hovering, can still pose potential risks, especially if it flies through sensitive or crowded spaces. Even the drone's pilot cannot prevent damage when it flies without control. Additionally, if the drone is out of the jammer operator's line of sight, they may not know if the drone has been disconnected. Finally, jammers may only provide temporary disruption and the drone could return to the control of the pilot. Some new advanced drones may be able to navigate even when jamming is occurring. Distinct types of jammers have different strengths and weaknesses. Directional jammers mitigate drones from a specific direction with a longer range and less disruption. However, they struggle against swarms and can lose effectiveness if the drone changes direction. Omnidirectional jammers can mitigate drones from all directions, but have a shorter range and increase collateral effect on authorized drones and communication systems. Handheld jammers are mobile and easy to use but require constant vigilance and have a limited range. Effective for protecting specific points in proximity, but impractical for perimeter defense. Plus, the jammer must be constantly aimed at the drone without an accurate trigger mechanism for the drone's position. This is particularly challenging during visual identification of high-flying drones. Kinetic solutions physically intervene to disable drones using methods like projectiles of various kinds. These solutions vary in size, portability, ease of operation, cost, and capabilities against specific drone types. The primary objective of kinetic solutions is to physically destroy or disable the drone, which then creates an obvious issue it can result in collateral damage or human injury. The projectiles themselves can also pose a risk by potentially hitting other objects, especially dangerous in sensitive areas like airports or critical infrastructure. Some kinetic technologies require line of sight, which may be challenging in urban or sensitive environments due to obstacles like tall buildings, vehicles, and signage. Distinct types of kinetic solutions have pros and cons. Drone killing drones, these drones capture unauthorized targets by flying alongside and using nets, by ramming them, or shooting other projectiles at them. The problems. Accurate hits can be challenging when dealing with drones that fly unpredictably. Chasing rogue drones with drone-killing drones is aeronautically challenging, whether through autonomous or ground control systems. Collateral damage may occur from the falling drone and projectiles. Intelligent Shooter Scope. Mounted on a rifle, this system enables accurate shots against nearby drones. This special scope, specifically programmed for calculations, increases the probability of a successful hit. This cost-effective technology may have a role within a multi-layer counter-drone defense, especially in rural or open field environments. It offers accuracy for short distances, yet its effectiveness depends on detecting the drone visually or acoustically, and it may encounter challenges in targeting smaller drones. Immediate action is necessary for the security team, as drones fly fast, leaving little time to respond. Laser-based systems destroy drones by emitting a powerful beam of light that damages the drone's structure or electronics. They can effectively target various drone types. However, Lasers require line of sight, disintegrate the drone, resulting in data loss, and may cause falling fragments. Collateral damage is a concern, and obstacles like buildings or other airborne objects can pose challenges. As a result, 
lasers may be less suitable for sensitive environments, and targeting smaller drones with lasers is more difficult. Electromagnetic pulse, EMP, or high-powered microwave, HPM, is a radiation-based technology that operates by releasing high-powered waves of electromagnetic energy in short bursts to disrupt electronics and disable drones. This technology is often considered a last resort option when other methods are ineffective, since EMP HPM can cause significant collateral damage to electronics in the area. Its indiscriminate nature can affect and cause permanent damage to nearby electronics and computers. Global Navigation Satellite System Spoofing works by broadcasting false GNSS signals, such as GPS, in a specific area. Drones receiving the spoof signal may navigate in the wrong direction or deviate from their pre-programmed flight plan, including the ability to return home. It can be effective in controlling drone flight paths, but compared to jamming, GPS spoofing can be more disruptive, affecting all navigation devices in the area. GNSS spoofing can cause accidents, confusion, and disrupt continuity, affecting navigation systems and authorized drones in the area. It should not be used near friendly authorized cars and other GNSS directed systems. Next Generation Radio Frequency Cyber Takeover is an advanced, non jamming, non kinetic technology that assumes control over a rogue drone with a precise and short action, directing it to a predetermined route for safe landing. This surgical approach avoids collateral damage and interference with other systems. It seamlessly combines rogue drone detection, takeover, and safe landing, and can be deployed automatically to eliminate human error or manually for maintaining more active human control. RF Cyber Takeover allows authorized drones to continue operating during the mitigation of rogue drones. It also preserves the mitigated drones for analysis as allowed. The RF Cyber Takeover knowledge base focuses on specific RF-based manufactured drones, the most dangerous and prevalent, including those that have been modified or tampered with, and do-it-yourself drones made from commercial components. The solution provider must possess advanced proficiency and technical expertise to address the most common and sophisticated communication protocols. Companies providing RF cyber takeover systems must continuously add more drones to their knowledge base, so a proven track record and strong resources and capabilities in this area is critical to remain effective. Organizations authorized to use counter UAS technologies must consider environmental factors that affect their operations, such as limited line of sight, RF noise, and radio signal propagation. To be clear, mitigation of drones can extend beyond the mentioned techniques. For instance, Identifying and stopping the drone operator is another possibility. Implementing a multi-layer approach to mitigation technologies maximizes the effectiveness of countering potential threats. In summary, a range of counter-drone mitigation options are available, each with its strengths and limitations. RF jammers, kinetic solutions, lasers, EMP HPM, and GNSS spoofing all have their place, but may not be suitable for every situation. Next generation radio frequency cyber based mitigation methods offer a comprehensive, innovative, and reliable approach to mitigating drone threats. Operators can achieve enhanced airspace safety by deploying a strategy that integrates multi layered mitigation technologies. To learn more about counter drone mitigation and RF cyber takeover in particular, please visit our website at defensolutions.com/slash anti drone mitigation.